Hello, it's Linda. Welcome back to Sleep Faith Homestead. And if you're new here, welcome to our channel. We appreciate you being here. I am headed to Tractor Supply to see if I can find, well, I called them and they said they had alfalfa hay. Our pigs, it has been raining so much here that our um, pigs have destroyed the ground. They're digging for nutrients. Oops, sorry, my hand was in the way. They're digging for nutrients that are not there. <laughs> we need to move the fencing, but um, it won't quit raining. So we can do that. And uh, we can't do it this morning because we've got other things going on. And so I'm gonna run and see if I can find some alfalfa hay to so they'll have something to eat on and give them some nutrients. So hopefully they will stop digging as bad as they are. Um, there's a huge hole in the barn where they have, uh, where they're digging in the barn for, I need to put on my seatbelt. I will in just a second. I'm still in the driveway. Um, put it on now. They have dug in the barn floor, digging a hole, and just digging straight down. I mean, it's probably knee deep. So I keep, um, I filled it in, of course, hopefully, because I don't want them to fall in it. But um, anyway, they keep digging it out. So I'm headed there, and hopefully we'll, I'll find some hay packaged because the other, you know, there's, I guess living on a homestead, you have problems at every turn. I won't say problems. Let's say challenges, right? Um, we don't have a truck, so that presents a challenge in itself um, you know otherwise I would just maybe go get a, a load of whatever we need you know hey I hate to put it in my car but that's what's gonna happen I think tractor supply said that they had compressed alfalfa hay that's in a bag so I'm probably gonna pay more for it but that's what we're gonna get right now to get us through larger bag thank goodness um, and the bag says alfalfa chopped alfalfa so I was expecting alfalfa hay so I'm not sure if it's the same thing um, or not so anyway everything that I've googled says alfalfa is good for cooney coonies so um, it should be okay for them I just want, you know, I don't want to feed them anything that they shouldn't have just because I don't want a sick pig. You know, I want them to be healthy. So, um, I'm quite sure they're not going to have a problem eating it because they will eat, you know, anything they <laughs> come in contact with pretty much. So, I, you know, I just want to feed them the right thing. So, anyway, when we get home, we will give it to them and um, hopefully that will keep them happy for a little while and not dig quite as much so until we can get that fence moved so see you later you're getting mad at me it's taking too long
the bag I purchased. Well, hopefully that'll keep them happy for a little while. Maybe it'll um, keep them from digging so much today. And hopefully tomorrow we can get that fence moved. So uh, thanks for joining us. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so if you like this content. And um, we love you guys. God bless and see you next time.